Hello people, in this video we want to understand what an isometropia is. So basically first of all, what is isometropia? Iso isometropia is where both the eyes have same refractive uh, power almost, okay? So let's say one eye, one eye, one eye, okay? So this one also image will form on the retina, this eye also image will form on the retina. Or both have myopia or both have hypermetropia, okay? Now let us understand what an isometropia is an isometropia you can see in this photo uh, the image here is forming on the retina perfect but here it is forming in front of the retina so this is myopic this eye is myopic this eye is emmetropic right so this eye is perfectly fine but this eye has myopia so this is an isomyopia or an isometropia you can say because here it is myopia they are seeing an isomyopia but otherwise this is an isometropia an example so did you understand this is how the eye, two eyes are different in refractive errors that's it now look at this one here the image is forming on the retina perfect yes and here the image is forming beyond the retina so this is what this is an isometropia in that it is an isohypermetropia very good look at this one here very similar image only here so here again you can see the image is forming on the retina, here it is behind the retina, so an isohypermetropia you can see, okay. So all these are an isometropias, there can be astigmatism, one eye can have astigmatism, the other eye can be fine or both can have astigmatism. Okay, now look at this, let us say this is one of your eye and this is another eye of yours, see here, here the image is forming on the retina, here there is myopia, right. So this is simple, simple uh, an iso metropia in which one of the eye is perfectly fine the other has myopia or hypermetropia one if one eye is proper it is called simple anisometry don't worry guys we'll look at that again uh, now look at this anisometropia means what when the total refraction of the two eyes is unequal then it is called as anisometropia total refraction of the two eyes is unequal okay so a refraction of the two eyes is unequal i think is that that is better to say what do you say refraction of the two eyes is unequal so small degree of anisometropia is no concern that is up to uh, 2.5 diopter people can uh, manage okay but if there is more than 5 diopter difference between the two eye it is not tolerated and it becomes a matter of concern especially in children because what will happen if both the images uh, from two eyes see in uh, what happens in this especially in children if one eye is giving good image right let's say this one is giving good image and the other is giving a blurred image because of this refractive error so this is anisometropia what will happen the will, uh, brain will not develop for this eye so tomorrow further it will always suppress image from this eye and only this uh, good eye it will start processing so tomorrow if you fix this um, bad eye and you make it give it some spectacles and you fix this eye still this person cannot see with this eye because this part of the brain did not develop so this is amblyopia so this is a very difficult uh, it's a matter of concern right especially in children okay so then let us move on etiology it can be congenital or acquired as simple as that if somebody asks you the causes you say congenital or acquired uh, congenital means both the eyeballs have developed uh, grown differently one has become really big the other has become small probably so one has uh, normal the other has hypermetropia etc acquired asymmetric age change so with age there is asymmetric uh, change in the eyes then um, probably there was cataract in one of the eye right in one of the eye there was cataract and they removed the lens so this one will become what hypermetropic right and this one probably is normal so this will become an anisometropia this is having IO uh, or you could have put the wrong intraocular lens for this guy. Okay. So you could have put a wrong intraocular lens for this guy. So now um, this guy has difference between the two eyes and isometropia as simple as that. Okay. Very good. Shall we proceed further guys? Let's see what is that. Clinical types. We already told you. Simple means what? One eye will be normal. Right. See simple and isometropia where one eye is normal, simple astigmatic and isometry, one eye is normal. So then what happens in the other eye? Other eye can be myopic or hypermetropic or astigmatic, as simple as that. So the simple means one eye should be normal. Then coming to compound, what is compound? Compound where both the eyes are hypermetropic or both the eyes are myopic or both the eyes are astigmatic, okay. But they have difference. So both the eyes are myopic, yes. 
but the difference from one eye to the other is more than four diopters, something like that. Or you can say more than two diopters, whatever. It is different, okay? So what happens? Up to 2.5 diopter, it is fine. But it's beyond that, the person will not tolerate it. So compound means what? Both the eye have same condition, hypermetropia or myopia or astigmatism, but the level is different, okay? So that is compound. Now, lastly here, there is something called as mixed. Let's look at mixed. Oops, where did we go? Okay, we are here. Mixed means what? You know, one is uh, myopic, the other is hypermetropic. This is also called as antimetropia. Wow, like as though we did not have enough terms, they've added one more. Antimetropia, mixed. Okay, so did you understand? Simple means one eye is normal. That much you remember. Okay. Now, how will these people manage? You know, they'll have binocular single vision. See, if it is less than three diopter difference, we already told you up to 2.5 diopter, people can tolerate. So, they can have a binocular single vision they can have. From both eyes, they can get single image. It is possible. But what happens when there is this, um, uh, at a younger age, the brain will start suppressing the image from one eye. So, one eye gets suppressed and the other eye only the, uh, the person will be seeing with. So, this will become uniocular vision. Only from one eye they'll be seeing and this, uh, at, after a certain age, you cannot correct and fix the uh, brain part of it, right, for the other eye. Then alternate vision means, this is really smart. What they do know, one eye, if it is hypermetropic and the other eye is myopic, okay. So what they will do, they will use this myopic to see near and they will use hypermetropic to see far. So alternate vision they can develop, smart people, okay. So that is the status of binocular vision. How will the binocular vision be in an isometropia? Now coming to diagnosis, anyways, uh, you will do uh, retinoscopy, etc., autorefractometry, and you will find people with defective vision. That time only you can diagnose, right? How will you treat this? So basically, you will have to give spectacles, etc. See, if there are differences uh, up to four diopters, you can give spectacles, they are saying. After that, there can be diplopia. Contact lens is better, they are saying, uh, for uh, higher degrees of an isometropia because spectacle you will have that a very high power is very difficult to manage. You'll have magnification and all that, right? Then there's something called as anisoconic glasses. This is very strange, okay? What it does is, because anisoconia you have seen, right? The shape and size of the object will be different. That is when you that you call it as anisoconia. So what they're doing here, looks like they're giving some anisoconic uh, glasses. See, the sh size of the image is big here and the size of the image is small here. So somehow they're trying to manage it. You'll have to read more about that. Anisoconic glasses are, are also available, but they are disappointing, it says. How will you otherwise treat? You give intraocular lens, uh, right? You, um, If the person has aphakia, that is, you only did cataract surgery and removed lens or whatever region the reason there is aphakia, give an intraocular lens. Or you can give, um, normally a LASIK you can do, right? You can do refractive corneal surgery. Fakic refractive lens means what? You have a lens. What is this? Refractive lens exchange, fake refractive lens. What are these? This means to say something like you have your normal lens, right? That is your fake, fake normal lens plus you give a IOL. Looks like so that will be a fake refractive lens, refractive lens exchange, something like that. It is okay. So this is the treatment. Still, uh, what else is there? One warning kind of a thing they are giving here, guys. Uh, you should correct anisometropia in children to prevent the anisometropic amblyopia. Very important, right? So, in this video, you looked at anisometropia where, um, uh, first of all, you understood what isometropia is. Both the eyes have equal refractive uh, power. So, uh, anisometropia is one eye is forming image uh, on the retina example and the other eye is forming uh, image in front of the retina, for example. That can be anisometropia. Or the one eye is forming the image on the retina, one another eye is forming the image behind the retina. So this could be another type of anisometropia. Or it can happen that uh, one has myopia, the other eye has hypermetropia. Basically, you got the concept, a refraction of two eyes is unequal. Uh, up to 2.5 diopter, they can tolerate it. More than 4 diopter, it is not tolerated and it's a matter of concern. Especially in children, there can be anisometropic amblyopia okay then it can happen congenitally or developmentally each eye grows differently acquired also age change can be asymmetric or you did a cataract surgery removed the lens and now the person has a fake kick and uh, so there is anisometropia or the iol implanted is incorrect 
Clinical types you have simple anisometropia, simple astigmatic anisometropia. Simple, simple means one eye is normal, remember. And coming to compound means uh, both the eyes have either hypermetropia or myopia, but the difference in the power is very uh, more. Okay. Similarly, you have compound and eyes, um, astigmatic and isometropia. Then you have mixed where one eye is myopic, the other is hypermetropic. It's also called as antimetropia, it seems. Then uh, binocular vision, how will it be? Some people will have a, a single binocular vision itself. That is like how you and me have. Because the, if the power difference is less. But if there is... Um, uh, in children especially the eye one of the image which is bad gets suppressed by the brain and they'll be using only the good eye for seeing so this will be uniocular vision they will not have binocular vision alternate vision means um, uh, some people who have myopia come hypermetropia what they will be doing they will be using the myopic eye to see near and the hypermetropic eye to see far so smart people okay then diagnosis you will be you will be checking people for defective vision Treatment, uh, you can give them spectacles, contact lenses preferred, anisoconic glasses, but it is disappointing, they said. Other modalities of treatment, you can give intraocular lens, you can do a LASIK, etc. for these people. Then uh, you can also, with the existing lens, you can give some uh, other lenses. So this is fake refractive lenses or refractive lens exchange. Okay, that's it for now in this video on anisometropia. Bye-bye.